good evening students let's come continue with the class okay census of plant food other than carbohydrates you have just learned that plants synthesize carbohydrates through the process of photosynthesis so as we have learned that plants synthesize carbohydrates okay plants synthesize carbohydrates through the process of photosynthesis so through the process of photosynthesis plants synthesize their carbohydrates okay the carbohydrates are made of carbon hydrogen and oxygen so we know that carbohydrates carbohydrates are made of carbon hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen so carbohydrate are made from carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay these are used to synthesize other components of food such as proteins and fats so as we know that carbohydrates can can be produced through carbon hydrogen and oxygen so this carbon hydrogen and oxygen are used to synthesize other components of food such as protein and fats but proteins are nitrogenous substances which contain nitrogen <clears throat> so we know that proteins are containing nitrogenous substances so proteins are nitrogenous substances okay nitrogenous substances which contains which contain nitrogen okay which contain nitrogen okay from where do the plants obtain nitrogen so from where the plants are obtaining nitrogen so from where plants are obtaining nitrogen this is the question we call that nitrogen is present in abundance in gaseous form in the air so as we know that nitrogen is present in gaseous form in air however plants cannot absorb nitrogen in this form so plants cannot absorb from air instead it is nitrogen is available from the soil okay <coughs> so nitrogen which is present in air that cannot be utilized by plants okay soil has certain bacteria that convert gaseous nitrogen into a usable form and release it into the soil so as soil contains bacteria so these bacteria bacteria are converting gaseous converting converts gaseous nitrogen into usable form okay into usable form usable form okay so this is the bacteria which is present in soil and it result releases into the soil it is converting so soil contains a bacteria that converts gaseous nitrogen into the usable form and releases again to the and releases again to the releases into the soil okay into the soil which is utilized by the plant which is utilized by the plant okay in this way the nitrogen is utilized by the plant so now next also so these are absorbed by the plants along with the water so these are the nitrogen which is present in the soil are absorbed by the plants along with the water so along with the water nitrogen is also 
utilized by the plant. Okay. Nitrogen is also present in the soil. In the soil are utilized by the plant. Okay. So this is how this is how the plant is utilizing for the growth. Also, you might have seen farmers adding fertilizers rich in nitrogen to the soil. So if we see the field, the farmers are adding fertilizers to their field. Okay. So that fertilizer is rich in nitrogen. Okay. In this way, the plants fulfill their requirement of nitrogen along with the other constituents. So if when, when the farmer is adding the fertilizer into the soil, so the plants are fully utilizing this nitrogen along with the other constituents. Okay. Plants can then synthesize foods and vitamins. So plants can synthesize plants can synthesize proteins and vitamins. Proteins and Okay. This is how the plant is utilizing its nutrients to grow. Okay. 1.3. Other mode of nutrition in plants. There are some plants which do not have chlorophyll. So there are some plants which do, does not contain any chlorophyll. Okay. They cannot synthesize food. So the plant which does not have this chlorophyll pigment cannot synthesize their own food. Okay. Cannot synthesize. Chlorophyll is not present in some plants so they cannot synthesize their own How do they survive and from where they derive nutrition? So if a plant does not contain this chlorophyll pigment, then they cannot synthesize their food. Then how could they survive and how uh, how they are getting their nutri nutrition? This is the question. Like human and hu animals, such plants depend on the food product produced by other plants. So as we know that humans and animals, humans and animals such plants depend on food produced by other plants so food produced by other plants okay These are called heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So those type of mode of nutrition, we will be calling it as a heterotrophic. Okay? Look at the figure 1.5. Do you see a yellow, very branched structure twinning around the stem and branches of a tree? So if we see the figure 1.5. So this is the 1.5. This is a cascuta. Amarbel on host plant. So if we see this cascuta plant, so this plant is a called cascuta amarbel. It does not have a chlorophyll. So the plant does not contain any chlorophyll. Okay. So cascuta does not have sorry. So cascuta does not have chlorophyll. Okay. 
scooter can also be called as a Amar Bell. Amar Bell. Okay, another name for the scooter is a Amar Bell. It takes ready-made food from the plant on which it is planted. So whenever uh, ready-made food is climbing towards the plant, the plant on which it climbs is called the host. So when the host is climbing to that plant, host is climbing on the cascuta. the cascuta the plant is since it deprives the host of valuable nutrients so it deprives the host of a valuable nutrients it is having the ready made food okay it is having a ready made food offer Cascuta is called as a parasite. So what we will be calling it as a parasite? The host of variable nutrients. The host of a variable nutrients. The host of a host of variable nutrients. Cascuta is called as parasite. Okay, this will be called it as a parasite. Are we and other animals also a kind of parasites? So, are we and other animals are also a parasite to that cascuta plant? You should think about it and discuss with your teacher. So, we should think and discuss with your right, teacher. Okay. Pahle want to know whether mosquito bed bugs, lice, and leeches that stuck our, suck our blood are also parasites. So, Pahle wants to know about this question whether the mosquitoes, bed bugs, lice, and leeches which sucks our blood are also a parasites. So, the answer is yes, those are parasites of our blood okay mosquito bedbugs lice and leeches in such our blood are also uh, parasites okay have you seen or heard of plants that can eat animals so have you ever heard or seen any plant eating the animals there are a few plants which can trap insect and digest them so there are some plants there are some few plants which traps which traps insects and digest them and digest them okay it is is it not amazing such plants may be green or of some other colors so such plants may be green or some other colors also look at the plant in figure 1.6 so if you see the figure 1.6 this is a picture plant okay we call it as a picture plant okay figure 1.6 picture plant showing lid and picture okay this is the lid and this is the picture okay leaves modified into picture this is the lid leaves modified into a picture the picture like or a jug like structure is the modified part of the lid so the picture like or a jug like form here you are seeing the jug like form so this is a picture like or a jug like structure right so this is a modified part of a plant okay the apex of the leaf forms a lid the apex of the leaf is formed as a lid which can open and close the mouth of the picture so which can open and close the mouth of the picture okay Inside the picture, there are hair which is directed to downwards. So, in, inside the picture, there are hair like structures. Okay, there are hair like structures direct to, directed towards the downwards. Okay, there, 
inside this there are hair like structures which are showing the downward direction okay when an insect lands in the picture the lid closes and trap insects gets entangled into the hair so whenever the insect is sitting uh, sitting on inside this picture automatically the lid is closing off okay and then it digests the insect along with the lid and also the entangled hairs are also so when an insect lands in the picture the lid closes and the trapped insect gets entangled into the hair so insect is trapped by this lid and the insect is stuck in, in between the hairs of the entangled picture okay the lid closes and the insect is trapped and afterwards when the insect sits on this picture then immediately the lid is closing okay the insect is digested by the digestive juices secreted in the picture and its nutrients are absorbed 